Hey everybody, just want to show you one of my favorite project management tips for Logic. And this may not be one of those features that you're like, oh, I really wish I knew how to do more project management. But once you see this, if you didn't know about this, I think it's really going to open your eyes to some really powerful ways to work with our various projects inside Logic. So what we have here underneath this tab with the browsers, we have project, which is the current project. We have media, which taps into the whole OS 10 media system. And then we have all files. And this defaults to our logic folder, but you can obviously navigate to other places. In this case, I've got a lot of projects in here. And what I want to do is actually go to one of my other projects, pull in a sound from it. So I've got this one that I was working on at various times, and it has a few different things. I want to pull in the Telecaster and primarily the plugins. The rest of it we don't need to worry about right now. I don't want the actual file from there. I don't want the actual like MIDI file. I just want to be able to have the uh, instrument with the plugins. So I have that selected. We're now going to just click on add and it's going to add this instrument in. And I can just start playing it. So this has any of the different things I've added to this any of the sculpture tweaks I may have made, all of that come into my project. You can even see it has the panning on it, uh, the level on it, all of that. So that's how easy it is to come and pull different things from other projects with or without the content, with or without the MIDI files or the audio files or whatever. So super cool way to be able to work with this. Now we have here as well a global filter. So marker track, signature track, tempo track, and project notes. So this is one area that I use that quite a bit. If I'm thinking, man, I really liked that drummer, how I had it set up, even the drum part, I could pull that in really easily. Now the other part of this then would be the project settings. So if I do this, I have all of these options now to import. Screen sets being a huge one. Say I created some new screen sets in a project and either I want to make a new template or I just want to use those on a different project, I can import my screen sets, my score sets, my score settings, sync, tuning, movie, transform, staff, all of this stuff I can now pull from one project to the next. So every once in a while what I'll end up doing is all the stuff that I kind of figured out new for a month, I'll go through and I think, you know what, I want to add that into some of my templates. I can now just go to each of these projects and pick the best stuff from each of them and incorporate them into my templates however I want. I can make new templates. I can just add to previous templates, all of that. So this is a super easy way as you're building your knowledge and building your skills that you can take what you're learning on the new projects you're working on and then pull them into other projects or into templates. Okay, that's all I really want to show you, just this way of getting this information from one project to another. I think... Logic has one of the more complex ways of doing preferences and settings, global preferences and project by project settings. And because it's a little bit more complex than many other apps, you have to have this little bit more sophisticated project collaboration tool where you can actually pull that in from one to the other. And so this is one of my favorite of all the different digital audio workstations. It's so easy and elegant and it just works but it has to be that way because of the other complexities which are there. Anyway, hope you're having a great week and hope you enjoyed this little tip and I will see you soon.